Welcome to the session of laser beam machining, in short LBM. We are going to cover principal equipments used and working of LBM. Laser beam machining uses the thermal energy produced by laser for machining the workpiece surfaces. Laser in its full form is known as light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Let's see this in detail. Our universe is made up by the small particles known as atoms. In its surrounding, they have electrons at different energy level known as orbits. According to position of electron, they can be said in ground state, that is a low energy orbit state, or in excited state, that is a high energy orbit state. When atom is exposed to light, this ground state electron absorb photon that are light particles and jump to excited state. But this excited state is quite unstable versus the ground state which is considered as stable. So excited electron loses the photon and go back to the ground state. This is really a simplified view of actually what happens but it reflects the core idea. We have seen atoms releasing energy as photon all the time. For example, our old TV screen is a phosphor atoms emitting photons of different wavelength by high speed electrons. Even fluorescent light gas lantern in condensed burn does the same. The photon emitted has specific wavelength that depends upon the state of electrons energy at the time of release. Two identical atoms with the electrons in the same state will release the photon on same wavelength. So what happens when an already excited electron is bombarded with a photon. This photon is absorbed by the electron and it emits two photons of the same wavelength and vibrating in the same frequency and direction of the incoming photon. This is known as stimulated emission. Stimulated emission is quite different from our normal flashlight emission as it has some specific properties. This emission is monochromatic, that means it contains one specific wavelength of light. It is coherent or organized light, means each photon moves in step with the other or all photon wavefronts are in unison. It is also highly directional, that means it is strong and concentrated beam of light and cannot be diffused easily. So how does this all relate to laser beam? This can be seen as a laser tube which is filled with specifically chosen laser materials which have most of the atoms in ground state and some of them are in excited state. It has completely mirroring surface on the one side and partially mirroring surface on the other side. The lasing material has some electron in excited state and most of them are in ground state which have energy pumped through them using a light energy by a simple flashlight. As the flashlight pumps energy inside the lasing material, excited electrons loses the photons and these photons are absorbed by the other atoms and they go from ground state to excited state. Thus, gradually more and more atoms are going into the excited state. This gives rise to the phenomenon known as population inversion, which means there are more electrons in the excited state than the ground state. When population inversion is achieved, the spontaneous decay of electrons from the excited state causes a chain reaction. The photons emitted hit the other atom to cause more and more photons to emit. Photons in the direction of mirrored surface go to the completely mirrored surface and reflected mat to emit more photons. These photons when they reach the partially mirrored surface, most of them are reflected back but some of them comes out as a monochromatic and single phased concentrated beam of light. This is nothing but our laser. This laser light is of high frequency and monochromatic in nature. So when it is focused on one single point, it can generate high heat which can be used to evaporate 
or machine metals and other materials let us move to the laser beam machining equipment setup and working this is how a standard setup of laser beam machining look like there is a workpiece then the lens for concentrating the laser beam at one single point then the laser tube which we have just learned it is fitted with partially reflecting mirror surface on the other one side and completely reflecting mirror surface on the other side this laser materials can be of different type one is ruby rod which is aluminum oxide with addition of chromium or carbon dioxide filled laser tube or india which is ne neodymium dope yttrium aluminium garnet then laser tube is fitted with the flash lamp for pumping of energy in the lasing material on either side this flash lamp are operated by the power supply sometimes the whole setup is attached with a cooling system now for the working this is quite easy as we seen the power supply is used for flashing the flash lamps they cause energy pumping inside the laser tube which causes photon to decay in the laser tube this emits a highly concentrated beam of laser in the direction of lens the lens and the workpiece are kept at the focal distance of lens so the laser beam concentrates on the one piece point of workpiece which causes the metal to vaporize from that point and go out the laser can be moved for desired shape of machining this is it folks thank you very much for watching this video